Okay guys, we are done. Mostly. A lot of work. I think about two weeks. Maybe three, two and a half. Went by. I did a few extra things. Uh, adjusted the handbrake. We're gonna test that out today. Hopefully, hopefully everything goes well. I'm um, uh, mainly worried about the, the 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 rear diff. Hopefully that works well. I hope I chose the right oil. I didn't go with the original ATS carbonetic oil because it's it's like 100 100 bucks or more. Uh, I went with M's oil, which is also a very good oil, so hopefully this will work. Alright, let's do this. Gotta go find a parking lot and do some evasive maneuvers. is crooked as expected all right took a short drive to a parking lot it's got almost no brakes I hear a lot of uh, kind of a metal and metal grindy noises from the rear uh, brakes mainly because the rotors are not very factory smooth they were cut and uh, they if they don't change the knives on the on the on the lathes the, the turning machines then uh, the surface becomes rough kind of uh, not like factory kind of you know nice and smooth and shiny but that's okay we're gonna do a, uh, a pre-bedding procedure for all pads, uh, these on the box on the G Lock, uh, what is it? R12 G Lock uh, brake pads is, is what I got. It did say pre bedding procedure was done, but then in the instructions said the instructions said that you know to do the procedure. So I'm gonna just do it. It's a simple thing. It's basically um, accelerating to till about 40, 50, maybe 60 miles an hour hard braking uh, to a near stop don't stop just a near stop let's say to like five miles an hour or so maybe maybe 10 is fine should be fine and just do that a few times and your pre bedding procedure is done so now we're gonna do a few tight turns left and right and see if the disc diff rear diff makes any noises actually a break-in procedure for the diff but since this is a used diff then I really don't need to do this I'm just doing it to make sure the oil is working fine and it's both ways it's perfect it's quiet smooth I'm gonna switch the DCCD to rear and do this again testing the suspension because it's all messed up the car is turning left on its own obviously it's got to be adjusted alignment but I don't hear any noises which means I did a good job
smell the new pads. themselves and the braking will always be better from that point on and until you change for new pads can't really tell it seems like the suspension is softer it's a tiny bit more comfortable but these roads are kind of smooth I won't know until I hit some bumps but it, it seems like it's it's more dignified I guess it became a, more of a daily now. All right, test drive completed and successful, I would say. I gotta admit, these look nice. And this car is dirty and it's actually lower, which I kind of knew was gonna happen. These are softer springs, which is normal for the car to be lower but it's quite a bit lower look at this I can barely half a finger this is ridiculous looks like this one has way more negative camber uh, maybe about the same I don't know the computer will know better yeah this is way higher check this out nearly two fingers here and one finger here this might be it for the Subaru series for now, as far as repairs and modifications. We will see it on the track. So thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.